let us now look further. The next step is that we should consider and identify all uncertainty sources and those uncertainty sources that are important, that have high weight in our resulting uncertainty, those need to be taken into account. And this can be done either individually or by grouping them. And as we will see later on, this grouping approach also is used in this example. And importantly, each uncertainty source has to be linked with some quantity in the model, so that in fact this input quantity in the model is specifically brought in to link it with certain uncertainty sources, which otherwise would remain unaccounted for. And if we discover an important uncertainty source that cannot be linked to any quantity in the model, then we need to modify our model. So that in fact, this model that we have here can already be regarded as a modified model. The initial model would be like this. And the modification that was added can be seen here. 